Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Smart Architect tutorial. What I want to show you in this tutorial is how to create a body of water in Revit. So I'm starting out. You know, I'd like to show you where we're going before we even get started. Here's the roadmap. This is pretty much an image that I very quickly just put together a small tutorial, keeping the geometry simple that we can get through it very quickly. And this is the body of water that you can use as a lake, a pool, but there was a question of, hey, how do you do this in Revit? We're gonna go ahead and get started. So let me get out of 360 and let's jump right into Revit. Start in a blank project. And I'm gonna come over here to my massing palette and I just wanna create a simple surface for us. And as you can see, Revit's kind of giving me a little warning because I'm in my first floor view. Let's switch quickly to this site drawing. And now let's place a couple points. And I just wanna give us a little bit of a slope so I'm gonna start up at five feet on this western end of my site that I'm creating. And then I'm gonna just drop, quickly drop the elevation down to zero. And I'm gonna come over here and give ourselves a very simple site. I'm just gonna click okay here. So here's my site. Now, to create the surface that we wanna use, the body of water that we're creating here, I wanna use, even on this Massing and Site tab, I wanna use the Building Pad tool. And I'm gonna create just a very simple, contemporary shaped pool for this tutorial for us. And I'm just going to drop in, just like that, I'm just gonna drop in a building pad. And let me just quickly s switch to my 3D view. So if I just go up here to the View tab and quickly create a generic, you'll see that I'm already getting pretty much a mass void that cuts into my topo surface. And so let me go ahead down here, change this to more of a realistic view. Man, you can see just how quickly we are able to create what I'm going to modify and turn into that body of water. But here you can see it. So first I do wanna click on that body of water here in the center and let's edit body of water. And I'm actually gonna duplicate this and change that from pool. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna just write in here body of water, um, whether this is a pool, lake, whatever, the steps will be the same for you. So I'm just gonna hit edit structure and I'm gonna give us like a four foot deep pool. So I actually want to come in here and give myself at least a four foot thickness to this. And I'm gonna click on material. So let's go ahead and whether or not you've been in this material browser or not, um, there will be other videos that you'll need to check out. However, I want to just create a material here. So right in my project, I'm coming down here, create a material, create a new one, and you'll see it just comes up as default new material. Let's quickly rename this. body of water for ourselves. All right, and you'll see if I click on it, on that body of water, let's go to appearance, because that's what it's gonna use for the rendered view, which I'm most concerned with. I just wanna quickly get to that rendered image of this body of water. You'll see it's a very generic material. Well, what we wanna do here, I'm gonna come up here, and I wanna make sure that we find and use something that's beneficial for us here. So let's go up to our material browser. I need to check out what would be our asset library. How do we get there? Let's look. I'm gonna type in body of water here. And that doesn't show me what I'm looking to see here. But if I come over here and just click on this, this is my asset browser. This asset browser, I'm gonna click in, just gonna type water in here and you'll see Revit by default has what is a tropical blue asset. Well, I'm just gonna take this and if I click on this button here, it, you'll see back here in the material browser, which is for our project. So the asset browser, browser, just to be clear, is all the materials that Autodesk has put into the Revit library of materials. And then what is over here in the browser, you're seeing just what's in our project. So you'll see project materials over here. So what we just did is we're actually taking that tropical blue asset and we're just moving that into to replace what was the material originally. 
And the more you mess around with materials, the better uh, you'll have uh, understanding of it. So this is the, now that body of water material right here. I, for the type, I'm going to change this to more of a swimming pool. And you'll see there's a couple options here. You can do a reflective pool, on and on. But this is a swimming pool. And I'm just going to change that wave height. I like to create the pool exaggerated a little bit. What that pool does is gives me um, as though the water is really moving for us. So I'm just going to change that. And you can see in the picture what it's doing here. So that's my body of water. And I'm just going to click apply and OK here. So now you'll see that this pad body of water uh, has a material named body of water as well. So let's just click OK and get out of this one. All right, so now you can see that material change here. And I just want to do the same for our topo surface since we are going to model this. So I'm clicking on that topo surface. OK, so now I want to repeat the steps. And since we're going to render this, I just want to do the same thing for the topo surface. So I'm clicking on that material by category. Let's create another material, create a new material. And we're just going to call this its default new material. Let's rename that. I'm right clicking to get to this menu. And I'm just going to change this to grass that I can use here. And then let's also go back to that asset browser. Let me bring this up where you can see it. And for gra I'm typing in grass again. Let's see what shows up. You see Autodesk has quite a few different grass types here. And you can play around with them and even modify them. But what I'm going to use is just this thick grass here. And I'm going to bring that back into my project by clicking on, you know, clicking on this toggle button here to move that from the asset browser back into our project material browser. So now you'll see, let me click, let me close out of our asset browser. And you'll see this is the appearance for that grass material that we've created now. And I'm just going to click apply and we'll go with OK. So now you can see. Um, the topo surface that we created that was gently sloping with the building pad, which is our water. Now I'm going to give a boundary. Clearly there will be some sort of concrete edge to this, unless you're doing a lake and then you would do something, you know, of a different form white form. So I'm just going to come back in here and very quickly, let's add some walls to this. And there's a couple of different ways I can use my pick lines tool. And I'll drop this down. Let's say, well, let's do this like six feet. And I'm just going to pick the boundaries of that building pad that represents what we're doing here. And these are the four walls that we have here. I'm actually going to change this wall type for us here. So if I just go to edit type, same sort of repeating the process. You'll see this wall because I used a generic eight inch wall. If you already have a concrete wall in the project, go ahead and modify that. But I'm trying to, through repetition, show you exactly what steps you need to take to assign a few materials. So I'm going to use just this precast material here for our pool. And let's look at appearance. That shows us how it's going to look when it's rendered. And I'll just hit OK here. And it should show up like it does right here in our material column for this. And I'm going to hit OK and apply here. Let's go back to our 3D view and take a look at it. So here we have what so far. So I want to, you can see, I want to modify this body of water because right now it's a little bit um, shallow. <laughs> and I'm going to check on this body of water. Let's change this a little bit. One, I'm going to make it a little bit deeper. So edit structure. Let's go ahead and make this like at least a six foot deep thickness. Hit OK here. And then I'm going to offset it. Let's bring this up a couple feet, four feet. I'm going to bring it up for us. So now you can see the body of water isn't too, you know, isn't too shallow in this pool. I'm just going to add a couple elements very quickly. Let me go back to my site plan. And I just want to add a couple columns here on that architectural tab because the question that 
were that brought about this tutorial was more based on hey i can't see columns that sit down in this pool and and so forth so i want to make sure to put something in it that you can see the transparency is definitely revealed here and i'm going to take both of these columns and let's move this up i'm going to give myself i'm going to use that level two as more so my offset that gives me two columns that sit in that pool just to close out the tutorial why don't we just add a roof in here and we'll do that on the second floor by default and i'm just going to very quickly overlap so hey this pool will have a little bit of shade in it and i'm tabbing through to be able to select all four of my sketch lines in this roof tool and i don't want to have any slope on it and then i'm going to do the same thing i want to move this up that same 10 feet let's go back to our view here so this is pretty much what we have if you remember, let's very quickly, I do want to give myself a perspective view. So I'm going to do that because we're going to render this. But this is, those are the steps that you take to create this here. Um, let me move my eye elevation up at least 15 to about 15 feet. Now we're kind of looking down in that pool. Same thing, same concept here. So this is what we have. And hey, guys, this is how you create a body of water. I'm pretty much using that building pad tool and then just taking a material and manipulating it. So I hope this tutorial has been very helpful for you. And model away, guys. For more great tutorials like this, I sure hope that you'll subscribe. I'm trying to keep things short here, so you'll see the tutorials are as quick as possible. Stay to the point, and hopefully you guys will be able to replicate this without very many questions. However, if you have any questions, please check out the comment box. Make sure you guys engage with me on this tutorial as well as all the others. There's plenty of content here on the YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys.